I'm glad you're back. I'm your teacher, Lisa. Austin is here with us today, too. Hi, Austin. Hi, Lisa. And hi to you all, too. In the last lesson, we encouraged you to try to leave a message on the answering machine and say your phone number in the correct way. Don't worry. Your confidence will build every time you make some progress. 是的，各位同学，上星期我们谈到电话用语，怎么样留话在打录机上，或者是我们现在说的 voicemail 啊，你知道要说些什么内容，还有啊，电话号码的长度不一样，要怎么分段之类的，这是上一周所学到的。Well, today we have a new lesson for you. Let's begin our lesson by looking at our chapter focus. Our chapter focus today has a few parts. To learn to give a step-by-step -step instruction about using something at the office, and to learn to clarify instructions. 是的，今天的啊、uh, 单元的焦点就是学习提供使用办公室啊、uh, 用品啊、uh, 学习怎么操作的步骤说明。还有就是讲解、操作、说明。Austin, have you ever been asked by your boss to provide a detailed specification of a project that you are in charge of? My boss often asks us to enlarge parts of the designs we make so they are easier to read. This is a specific but common request. Ah ha! 刚刚啊，老师问 Austin。老师，他的老板有没有要他呃提供很仔细的东西？特别是他正在进行的计划案等等。他说有的，他的老板喜欢让他们能够啊、呃、放大哈啊、呃、扩大一些啊、呃、他所设计的啊、呃、东西。呃，待会我们要看的是第一个 conversation one。It's a Brenda's first day 呃、uh, to work. 她的呃，老板呃 ，a a supervisor Alice is giving her instructions about using a copy card to run copies. 今天是 Brenda 第一天上班，她的她的 supervisor 就是上上司 Alice 正在告诉她关于怎么样使用影印卡影印的操作。待会会这两个字叫 specifications 跟 enlarge 会出现在我们的对话中，请各位同学啊。要认真的听，好，我们来看 Conversation One. Alice, I wonder if you could help me. How can I help? I can't seem to get this copy card to work. Sure, glad to help. First of all, you enter your code. Where do I get the code number? The code number is already set for you. It's your birth date. The first time you use this card, you can change the PIN number for security purposes. Okay.、Uh, the next thing you have to do is choose the paper size. And next? Make sure you remember to enter your specifications, such as single side and double side copies, enlarge or minimize, and number of copies. Is that clear? No problem. The final step is to hit enter. And that's it. Do you have any other questions? I think I've got it. Thanks a lot. Enjoy your first day of work. Yes, I will. 各位同学，刚刚看完了啊、uh, ，Conversation One， 我们出现了两个生字。We want to take a closer look at it and also give you example. All right. Well, the first one is specifications. 它的意思就是很详细的资讯。我们听英文的解释。Details and instructions describing something to be made or done. 指某一个事物完成的详细的资讯跟操作的说明。Ah,、uh, give our students one example. Our boss asked to see the specifications of our project. Our boss asked to see the specifications of our project. 我们的老板要求要检视我们计划的详细目。下一个生字叫 enlarge. Enlarge means 扩大的意思 Cause something to become large. Okay, 让事物变大，放大的意思 Stephanie wants to enlarge her garden. Stephanie wants to enlarge her garden. 
Stephanie 想要扩大他的扩建他的花园，还有一个生字叫 minimize， minimize 就是缩小，使变小的意思。To put a shape or design into its smallest form. 是的 ，minimize 就是把形状或者是设计变成最小的形式。我们看例句。This document is not regular size. Please minimize it to A4 standard size. This document is not regular size. Please minimize it to A4 standard size. 这份文件不是平常的尺寸，请你缩小成 A4 的标准规格。Uh, in the previous skit, we saw Brenda didn't know how to use a copy card. Austin, did you know? How many companies limit the page, the number of the pages that you run the copy? I actually didn't know that. My <laughs> work just had a meeting about workers making too many extra copies and wasting paper. That's right. Also, many company like my workplace will give me a PIN card, you know, PIN number, and you you need to uh, key in uh, before you use your copy. A copier. Hmm. That's interesting that you have a PIN number. At my work, we need to insert a card that is linked to our ID. Ah, 是的，各位同学，刚刚我们的对话里头谈到了几个哈，就是 copier 哈，还有就是嗯 key， 还有 PIN， 呃 PIN number， 还有 insert the card， 这些都是啊一些公司为了啊减少啊同事同同事们啊。过度的啊滥用啊 copier 啊，就是啊啊那个影印机，所以有的一些限制。所以待会我们会看到下一个 conversation 会出现这些生字。好，各位同学，现在我们就来看 conversation two。What am I doing wrong? Why won't this machine work? Excuse me, what seems to be the problem? This is my first time to use this Xerox machine. Alice just told me how to use this copier, but something isn't working right. Do you think you could tell me what I'm doing wrong? Did you key in your PIN number? Yes, I keyed in my birth date, but it didn't respond. Well, let me see. You're right, it's not responding. Oh, I see where the problem is. Did you hit the clear button before you put in your PIN number? No, I didn't. Should I have? I guess someone just finished copying and didn't clear it before they left. Sorry, let me see if I understand. You mean that I need to make sure the previous information is cleared before I key in my information, right? Actually, you should do this before you insert your copy card. That's helpful information. I won't forget next time. All right. Uh, now we're going to take a closer look at some keywords that we it, we just uh, uh, watch our uh, skit two conversation two. The first one is a copier. Copier is 影印机。我们来看英文的解释。A machine that makes exact copies of documents and pictures. Okay, 只可以准确影印文件。或图像的机器叫 copier。我们现在来看例句。Our department bought a new copier recently. Our department bought a new copier recently. 我们的部门最近买了一部新的影印机。下一个生字叫 previous。previous 先前的。Earlier. Okay. 同学学了一个新的单字 ，earlier 的意思就是 previous。我们看例句。This issue has been discussed in our previous meeting. This issue has been discussed in our previous meeting. 这个议题在我们先前的会议已经讨论过了。下一个 ，key， 不是钥匙哦，它是输入的意思。To put information into a computer. Or other electronic machine using keys or a keyboard. 是的 ，key 这个字就是说把一些讯息透过啊，透过啊，输入的方式把它输入到电脑或者是一些电子器材
。我们来看例句。The data needs to be keyed immediately. The data needs to be keyed immediately. 资料需要马上输入。下一个生字叫 insert. Insert. 我们看插入是英文怎么解释。To put something into a hole or space, 把东西放到洞里头或某个空间当中，这个叫做 insert。我们看例句。You inserted your card in the wrong slot. That is why you couldn't get the machine working. You inserted your card in the wrong slot. That is why you couldn't get the machine working. 你把你的卡放错位置了。难怪你没办法让机器运作。Hi, students. Welcome back to this section called More Information. In this section unit, we will talk about something that、uh, me and Austin、uh, will clarify a few things for you. Like a first question would be, what does that mean, Xerox?、Hmm. Xerox. Xerox actually is a brand name, a copy of a written document or image that is made by a Xerox machine. 各位同学，这个字其实是一个品牌的名字，叫做全录影印机。它所制作的啊、呃、机器啊、呃、用来影印。所以到最后呢，它太有名了，以至于我们用 Xerox 这个字当做 copier 的意思。哈 ，I can give you a Xerox of this report if you like. I can give you a Xerox of this report if you like. 如果你想要的话，我可以给你一份这份报告的副本。Xerox as a verb it means to copy. 刚刚我们说 Xerox 的名词，现在变动词了。Okay, give us one example. Sure.、Uh, would you Xerox six copies of this report, please? Would you、uh, Xerox six copies of the report, please? 可以麻烦你帮我影印六份这份报告的副本吗 ？Okay, I have another question. That is a pin. Pin, P-I-N. What does that mean? Pin.、Uh, what about pin number? Okay,、uh, it stands for personal identification number, a secret number that you put into a cash machine in order to take money out of your bank account. Okay, pin, 就是我们常常说的，就是你的密码的缩写。它 stands for personal identification number. 啊，它很长，所以我们就用 pin。啊，所以当你要输入，人家说输入 PIN number， 意思就是指有一组的密码是专属于你自己的。当然，你不会告诉别人你的 PIN number， 而且有时候，呃，常常单位或学校要你常常改密码。Lisa， do you know what ATM stands for？ I know， you know， I have asked my student before， they gave me the wrong answer， but today I'm going to give you the right answer。ATM stands for automatic teller machine. That was a machine outside of the bank or in a public place that you use that machine to take money out of your bank account. 同学们 ，ATM 的意思就是自动提款机的缩写，哈，它就是指放在银行外面或在公共场所可以把钱领出来的意思，呃。I would like to talk about auto teller machine. Ah,、uh, teller 的意思呢，就是老师特别要提到呃、uh, teller. Teller 呢是在银行的第一个柜台的第那一群人，他的职称就叫做 teller. Okay. Ah,、uh, 所以这个是 ATM 那个 T 就是代表好像有人替您服务一样。I have one example. Okay. The bank gave me a pin so I can use my ATM card. The bank gave me a pin so I can use my ATM card. 银行给我一组个人的识别密码，所以我能够使用我的提款卡。I have a second example. Keep your pin in a separate place from your ATM card. Keep your pin in a separate place from your ATM card. 
，记得把你的个人的识别密码和你的提款卡分别的放。各位同学 ，PIN 跟 ATM 这个在啊啊、呃呃、很很常用到的哈，所以下次你就知道啊，看到 ATM 是什么意思，呃，叫你改 PIN number 是什么意思。好，那现在我们的时间啊、呃，开始要进入到下一个单元，就是 replay the conversations one and two. Alice, I wonder if you could help me. How can I help? I can't seem to get this copy card to work. Sure, glad to help. First of all, you enter your code. Where do I get the code number? The code number is already set for you. It's your birth date. The first time you use this card, you can change the PIN number for security purposes. Okay.、Uh, the next thing you have to do is choose the paper size. And next, make sure you remember to enter your specifications, such as single side and double side copies, enlarge or minimize, and number of copies. Is that clear? No problem. The final step is to hit enter. And that's it. Do you have any other questions? I think I've got it. Thanks a lot. Enjoy your first day of work. Yes, I will. What am I doing wrong? Why won't this machine work? Excuse me. What seems to be the problem? This is my first time to use this Xerox machine. Alice just told me how to use this copier, but something isn't working right. Do you think you could tell me what I'm doing wrong? Did you key in your PIN number? Yes, I keyed in my birth date, but it didn't respond. Well, let me see. You're right; it's not responding. Oh, I see where the problem is. Did you hit the clear button before you put in your PIN number? No, I didn't. Should I have? I guess someone just finished copying and didn't clear it before they left. Sorry. Let me see if I understand. You mean that I need to make sure the previous information is cleared before I key in my information, right? Actually, you should do this before you insert your copy card. That's helpful information. I won't forget next time. Expressions, 表达用语。今天我们要学的是 giving step by step instruction， 教人如何操作一些东西，一定是有 step by step， 一步一步的来。First step, what would you say? Okay, Austin 会给我们例句。First of all, you. Okay, first of all. 然后呢？ The first thing you have to do is. The first thing you have to do is. 好，这个是第一步。第二步是什么 ？Second step. The next thing you have to do is. The next thing you have to do is. After you've done that, you. Okay. After the you have done that, you do the second thing. So then. So then. Next. Next. 这都是第二步的啊、呃、说法。那么我们来看，你要给人家更多的 information at the further point. What would you say? Make sure you remember to. Make sure you remember to do something. Make sure you remember. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to. Oh, by the way, don't forget to. Oh, and be careful not to. Oh, and be careful not to. 好的，这个都是你要加增加一些 information 会用的啊、uh, expressions. Now we check the understanding. 我们要确定对方有没有 follow you. Are they with you or not? Okay, 我们来听 Okay, so is that clear? Okay, so is that clear? Are you with me? Are you with me? Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Do you see what I mean? Did you see what I mean? 同学们，你们刚刚学到的这些都是非常非常棒的 expressions. Okay, 特别教人家啊、uh, step by step, add more information, check their understanding. Now, if you are the person you receive instruction. So what would you do? You ask the person to explain a procedure for you. 
Excuse me, could you show me how to? Excuse me, could you show me how to? How to do? 你要做的事情 Next. I wonder if you could tell me how this works. I wonder if you could tell me how this works. 比如说，一台机器在那里，或者是咖啡机，或者 something else, and you don't know what to do. 你就可以说 ，I wonder if you could tell me how this works. 好，万一你听不懂，你要 asking for further explanation. 你要请求更进一步的说明。What can you say? I'm sorry, I didn't quite follow you there. I'm sorry, I didn't quite follow you there. Sorry. Can you say that again, please? Sorry, can you say that again, please? Excuse me, I'm not very clear about. Excuse me, I'm not very clear about. Sorry, but I don't really see why you have to. Sorry, but I don't really see why you have to. Okay, 这些是指在你不太明白，在请求他们给你更多 information。希望这些 expression 对同学有帮助。Again, we have more,、uh, but because of the time limit, we only show you a few. So please、uh, go and study your textbooks. There are more、uh, there. Okay, now we're going to move on to our next section, that is a Q and A. Hi, my name is Melody, and my name is Michael. My question for today's lesson is: Is it rude to just grab any coworker besides you for help? Thanks for the question. It could be rude if you've been bothering this person a lot of times, but of course your coworkers should want to help you. If you're going to ask for more help about something, you should think about a few things. First is your relationship with the coworker you are asking. If you know this person very well, it's probably okay that you ask them again. Also, if they helped you the first time, then they already know about the issues you are facing and are probably better fit to help you. However, if you find another person who has more knowledge about the issue that you are trying to fix, you might be better off asking them, as well as if the first person is too busy to help you at this time. Thank you, thank you, Austin, for the、uh, answer to this wonderful question. You know that happened a lot. You 在办公室里头啊、uh, ，Melody 的问题说 ，Is it rude? 会不会很无理啊？ Uh, 去随便就抓一个人来问你的问题？呃、uh, ，老师的回答是说，呃、uh,。看你跟这个啊、uh, coworker 啊、uh, coworker 就是你的 colleague， 你的啊、uh, 工作的伙伴，你先看看你们彼此之间的呃、uh, 关系是好不好，呃、uh, 有没有很好的关关系，这是第一个。第二个就是你问他，他是不是够 knowledgeable， 他对这个东西，比如说电脑的问题，或者是 other 啊、uh, machine 的那个呃。Uh, 呃，呃，问题哈，他是不是够有足够的知识？呃，那当然，如果呃，你发现他知识不是很足够，你可能会问别人哈。那如果说他知识足够，你们的关系又足够，呃，我们觉得你是可以继续请第一个人，就是第一个你问的这个 coworker 来帮助你。当然 ，depends 你们的关系啦 ，depend 他的 knowledge。希望这个 answer 对你有帮助。我们现在来看第二个问题。I was wondering, would it be better to return to the same person after a failed first try, or go and ask a different person? Thanks for the question. This is a really good chance for us to review, as my answer for this question is very similar to the first question. I think that who you return to. When asking for help for something, depends on a couple of things. First of all, your connection or relationship with that person. If you have a good relationship, I think it's safe to go back. But if you don't know the person too well, you might not want to. You might risk、um, making them feel a little bit annoyed. You also want to think about how much expertise or knowledge this person has about your issue. If the first person really knows your situation, really knows your problem. It's probably a good idea to go back to them because they really know what you're trying to go through. 
But if you find a different person who has more knowledge, then maybe you can ask them and let your first coworker get back to their job. <laughs> okay, 谢谢啊、uh, ，Austin 老师。这个问题其实刚刚 Austin 老师在第一个问题回答的也很详细。那没有关系，我们看到这位同学他问的就是说，万一这个同呃第一个人 failed。就是说，他没有办法帮助你的时候，是不是可以去找别人？呃、uh, ，Yes and no。呃，是的，如果这个人他够 knowledgeable， 他够有知识，那么你可以问他。但是如果不是 ，Again， 我们会觉得，呃，你可以找另外的人。还有一个就是说，万一这个第一个你问的人他很 busy， 那当然你就问另外一个人。当然，这些要请求人家帮助，都跟。你跟对方的 connection， 你们之间的关联啊、呃，关联性关系都很有关系哈，都很有关系。好的，那我们赶快来看 question three. I got another question. When talking with someone on the phone, what is a polite way to ask them for their identity? Thanks for the question.、Uh, when you're talking with someone on the phone. They should probably identify themselves right away when、mm -hmm. they call. If they don't,、mm, there could be a few reasons for that, and you might want to ask them if they don't offer who they are. You might want to ask them right away by maybe asking something like, "May I ask who's calling, please? Can I ask who this is? Who's calling, please?" Something just right away. Although they should probably offer that information because it will help the conversation go a lot more smoothly. Thank you, Austin. That's a great answer to this question. 在商场上啊， uh, 不管你是接电话的还是打电话去公司的，你总是要 identify your name, uh, what company are you with. 总是要的。万一对方他迟迟的不说他是对是谁，或者是不愿意说明公司，呃、uh, ，这个时候你可以坚持说 Who am I talking to? Would you mind giving me your name or your company's name? These are all should be. Why? 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 下一个问题。I was also wondering, if I'm the new employee at the office, how do I ask my supervisor for job instructions? Thanks for the question. I think that it's important to focus on the details of your new job when you are hired for your new job at the interview and also on your first day of training. If you still don't have enough information. Please email your supervisor, or maybe check any training documents that you've been given. 是的，刚刚啊的同学的问题非常好。如果你不太知道你要做的事是什么，应该在啊一录用的时候，或者是在做工作训练的时候就应该要知道。还有呢，就是你可能会透过 email 来啊问。啊、uh, ，长官，哈、啊，问经理，哈，啊，到底你的工作内容是什么？好的，各位同学，啊、uh, ，It's about the time we need to let you go, go back to work, and I hope you have、uh, a good day. Okay, and keep up learning English with us. Thanks for joining us. Bye bye.